I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh. Hi, it's Ashlina. You guys know why I'm here. Oh my God, I don't even wanna talk. I just wanna watch this and we'll get into the nitty gritty after. I'm gonna listen to the audio, then I'm gonna watch the music video and I'm probably gonna scream but I can't because my husband's sleeping, but I refuse to wait any longer, so let's do this. This is sick, and this is the audio. Okay, guys, I have to admit, like, I love it so much. Like, I'm not even joking. It's so good. I love that it sounds like the warning where they're, you know, it's a regular song and then it hits those flat notes and it just like, it's like a surprise and it's just so good. I want to read the lyrics real quick. Okay, help me now because I only debase when I see the problem staring straight at my face. I want to kiss it, lick it, make it my own, want to taint the color till it's faded and gone, bleeding just to feel alive. I'm rotting in my place. Life is nothing more than passing time. I want to make mistakes and live in regret. Don't want to give, just take it out of my head. And if I break it, fake it, don't care what comes next. There's a price. If there's a price to pay, I'll deal with it when I'm dead. Breathing just to live a lie. I'm rotting in my place. Sick and tired of always wasting time. Then the chorus. I like the leave me ruined. Show me that I'm human till it makes me feel sick. And the bridge. I'm rotting in my place. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, Genius.com says this song's message is about someone who views life as being dull and feels like they're just killing time. In response to this, they would rather feel sick and live in regret than be subject to the monotony. Yeah, 
that is rotting their life away. Damn. Okay, we need to talk about pieces of this song before I watch the video. Like, I'll be honest, vocally, this isn't like their strongest vocal song. But like, I don't think it actually needs to be. I think it sounds really good. And I feel like the instruments are pretty much taking over this song. Like the simplicity of the drum part there with the guitar, it just sounds so cool. That little guitar riff there. See that flat note that they go into? That's such a the warning thing to do. Love the scream. I, I kind of love this part where it's really just focusing on Pow's drumming and it just, it sounds so good. It's like they're giving her a moment in this song to shine. It sounds very, it makes it such a pop song, but it also showcases Danny's vocals so well that I don't think I've actually heard her sing in her head voice that high before. I want to hear it again. That drum. I'm sorry, but that is the best part of the song where it goes into like an instrumental moment, a cappella moment, and then screams the song back into place. Like, I'm sorry, that's just epic, genius, obsessed. it ended there but I understand why it didn't end there because I think I would be mad if it ended there I'd be like no it's over so I like that they continued it for like another 15 seconds and I kind of like that it didn't end with them singing sick I love their little instrumental breakdowns that like that because if you were just hearing the song on the radio for the first time you would probably think okay this is probably one girl uh singing uh and she has a band that plays for her and then when you see the video i don't know what the video looks like yet but if you see them live or something you're like holy shit there's three girls they all sing and they're playing their own instruments while they're rocking out to the song it's genius i'm so excited to watch the video you guys let's do this I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay.
Okay, well, that was amazing. Okay, I have to talk about the video because you guys know I'm not a music video person, but I've never not liked one of the Warnings music videos. And that's because they always have that live performance element in it. This music video was sick. I loved the black and white. I loved the pink. I feel like this is like such a great song and video for the female fan base. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I know the warning is male heavy dominated with fans, but I think this album might be our time to shine the females of the warning army. I'm obsessed. I love these girls. I think that video was epic. I think it looked amazing. This, I can't get over the song. I'm sorry. I know there's some controversy. I've been seeing it on Discord. I've been seeing it, um, people messaging me on Instagram. They're like, oh, I don't really like it. And I'm like, why? Why don't you like it? Because it sounds like a girl band now. <laughs> I don't know. People are saying it's too pop. But I'm like, honestly, I'm here for it. I'm here for this, like, I just want to hear this part again. Give me violence. Kill the that part is giving me the chills. Like, that is my favorite part of the song. And that little drum moment for Pow. The boom, 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 boom. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to listen to it 10,000 times today. I did stay up last night um, until midnight to see the girls live. I was on YouTube for a bit. And then I switched over to TikTok because uh, I had some free coins. And I was like, I'm just going to give them all to the warning because I don't really understand what these coins mean anyway. But... It was just so cool. It was just so cool to see them uh, do like a little quick live stream. And the amount of people that joined, it was absolutely insane. The Warning Army always comes through when it comes to anything that's new to the Warning. Like it's actually insane. Like thousands on YouTube, thousands on TikTok, thousands on Instagram. And it's just absolutely nuts. I have been waiting forever to hear this song. And it is true. I would not lie to you guys. I have steered clear of listening to this song from their live performances, from the snippets they were putting on Patreon. I stayed off their Patreon. I literally muted my Instagram. So anytime I saw anything to do with the warning and it would just pop up, I couldn't hear anything. And I would just be like, nope, next. I had the most patience of any warning fan, I think. Um, if you also waited, then we we are awesome. But I know none of you did. I know you all watched the live performances. I know you all listened to the clips or the snippets beforehand. So I'm jealous, but I just really wanted to wait until the warning was like, here's the song. And that's what I did. So I hope you guys liked my reaction. I think this is a fantastic song and I will be listening to it over and over and over again. And now I can actually go and watch those live performances of it. So if you guys have links, throw them below. I will react to them now because why not? I've heard the song. I want to see if there's any differences between what they were performing back in, I think, October versus what they're doing now. I think this song is going to do so well. I think it's going to do so well. I think it's going to gain a lot of attention. I feel like this is like, the female anthem for the warning for this new album they're having do I even bother talking about my my vinyl of the day because if you don't know you know okay my vinyl of the day is error it's the warning it's amazing every song is epic every song you listen to last becomes your favorite song everyone knows this but if you're new to the warning please go listen to this album in full. Then go listen to Queen of the Murder Scene. Then go listen to 21st Century Blood. And then go listen to Sick again and again and again. And let's get those numbers up for them because I think this is going to be a banger of a hit for them. And I'm so excited to see what happens next. I'm excited for a tour. I'm excited for a new album. I'm excited for new singles. I can't believe I waited this long and I'm so glad it didn't suck. <sighs> I feel like a weight off my shoulders. Just a reminder for you guys, tomorrow I have one of the Warnings live sessions going live uh, at midnight. Um, it's Z. Z. <laughs> so that will be live tomorrow. So I hope you check it out. And I'll see you guys in my next The Warning video. Set.